Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Alistair Symington, who is the uh, former minister of Troon Old Parish Church and chaplain to the Queen and convener of HM Armed HM Forces Chaplain. Sorry. Thank you, Alistair. Thank you, Presiding Officer. <coughs> Soon I reach the age of 70. Once it was your three score years and ten allocation, and phrases like <coughs> I'm now living on borrowed time were commonplace. It's not like that now, and if 60s is the new 40, then surely 70s is the new 50. That positive outlook doesn't prevent me being irritated by press stories describing an elderly man of 70. And going home to Troon, there's a road sign advising motorists that elderly people are likely to be crossing. But why does it show a stupid figure? Being stooped is because of a medical condition, not because of age. Try to tell my fellow golfers at Truden, aged 60 to 80, that they are elderly and therefore must be stooped, and you'd get short shrift. The people of the Old Testament had an admirable custom. As you entered a left of city through the gates, which were north, south, east, and west, you'd pass the elders who sat there and offered their wisdom to the younger. It was a mature custom and it was a blessing to the nation. I couldn't get away with advocating today that the elderly should sit at the Cowgate or Netherbow in Edinburgh and those passing by should have to listen to them, but I'm bold enough to suggest that we are not ready for the scrap heap. Sometimes in public discussion we talk of the future of our country. It concerns us all, whatever affiliation you have here, or the public has in the community. But I'd like to hear a little bit less of how the future belongs chiefly to the young. For I too have a future. It concerns me and my age group. We have a voice. We have a valid voice. And if we were to grasp the wisdom of Israel, the public perception might be to accept that there's a wisdom in the older members of society. No age group or gender, or colour, or creed can dominate another. We have a queen who has led us for 21 years since she turned 70. We have freedom gained under a prime minister who was over 70 when the last war ended. And we even have Mick Jagger becoming a father again at the age of over 70. I don't want to emulate any of these in any respect, but I have a voice and I do have a future. Thank you. Thank you.